Now, I want to find out how long that interval is, A, B. How are we going to do it? When someone likes to give me a suggestion that for something, works. maybe I can add on to you that'll help me make new email. Okay, great. I can use Pythagoras here. That's true. However, I'm a little mystified as to how because Pythagoras' theorem requires a... Triangle. Not just any triangle. A, a right angle triangle. I don't see any triangles on there. So where are you going to put one? Okay, where am I going to draw it? I can draw lots of triangles on here. Would someone like to give a suggestion as to where? Oh, down from there. Okay, I'm going to take Jake's suggestion. Jake's suggestion is I'm going to go down from B like this. And I need something else. And then across. Yeah, I'm going to start from A and go to the left. Okay. Now, with dotted lines, you can see I've gone all the way. The reason why this is helpful is because if I go all the way to, we call these guys the coordinate axes, if you remember. If I go all the way, the axes will help me work out the lengths that I have here, right? So now I'm going to complete that triangle, which is kind of implied. Here it is. And what's useful about it is, as we noticed before, if you want Pythagoras theorem, you're going to need a right angle triangle. So why don't you chuck that right angle in there? Okay, now, we're going to find the hypotenuse. That's AB. But to get to the hypotenuse, I need the other two lengths. Let's just have a look at the vertical one. Can someone tell me what that vertical length is? Three, four, four, three, four, three. Four. How do I work it out? Now, <laughs> I, all I have to do is pause and suddenly you're confused. It looks to me like four, right? You've constructed it. I asked you to construct a decent diagram on this one. You ten. Now have a look. Stay with me. The question then becomes which length are we actually working out? On the triangle, I don't have this one unit down the bottom. Right? So this over here is four, but the reason I know it's four is because it's five take away one. Yes! Now by the way. <laughs> Can I quote you on that? Oh, look. Yes, now actually, shh, this is really important. That's the question I want to ask. Why is it my take? Where, where does the where these numbers come from, right? Because that's where the point starts and then where the other point also starts. So okay, so I, I'm going to modify it just a little bit. It's where the interval starts and then it ends. Right, do you see that? It comes all the way from 5 down to 1. So the length of the interval is the difference. Okay, That's why it's 5 take away 1. Tell me what the length is down the bottom. Looks like 2 to me. Where does 2 come from? Danielle. Um, in the coordinates, it has four, it's a 4 along, but then um, over at over there, there's like 2... Yeah, so this spot over here. Yeah, so you minus two on that. Yeah, so this is four take away two, which is also two. Yeah. All right, now we're ready. What we can now write is, in this triangle, wrong color, I can do Pythagoras' theorem, right? So I can say mm -hmm. AB squared equals what? A What's Pythagoras again? Squared. It's a squared plus b squared, right? This is the hypotenuse. Four squared. So I'm going to go 4 squared plus 2 squared. Do you agree? Yeah. That's Pythagoras. So therefore, since it's Pythagoras, I'm going to say... Pythagoras is here. Do you have to say that? I'm trying to demonstrate where this comes from. So right now... Yes. We'll get on to that in a minute. We'll get on to that in a minute. Now I'm going to just compute this a little bit, right? I can calculate. Uh, 4 squared is 16. 2 squared is 4, so I'm getting a 20 over here. Okay. And now I'm ready to find out what AB is. It's the... Okay, now, I'm almost finished. Andrew. Thank you. I'm almost finished. I do want to point out, 
<coughs> I just asked you to find the distance, so I haven't asked you to approximate. However, some of you may have reached for a calculator and approximated. Before you do it, before you do it, um, 20 is not a square number. What's the square number that's smaller than that? 16. And the square number above it is 25. So that's 4 squared and 5 squared. So this is like between 4 and 5. Do you agree? Yeah. Thinking 4 and maybe 4.5. Four or something like that. Mm. It's all in a calculator. Four point four seven two. Not bad. Okay. Now, this is a length, so I need to supply some units with it. Now, there's no centimeters, meters, millimeters, or anything. So all you have to say is units. Okay. Now, the reason why I checked and asked four point seven ish. Uh, wait, sorry, four point four seven, wasn't it? Four point eight. It's just so I can see, is that a reasonable number? Which it surely is. If that's 4 and that's 2, this should be a little bit longer than both of those. Right? Okay, now, here's what I want you to do. Remember when we did this question to start with, right? This is a bit sneakier because you've got points and they cross different quadrants. You've got negative numbers in there, okay? I'm going to give you a minute to try and work out for the first question we did today. Can you work out the distance PQ? Now, you've got the same idea here. Construct the triangle, work out the legs carefully, and then go for it. Have a shot. Okay, have you got an answer? Does it agree with mine? Yes. All right, put your pens down for a minute. Even if you're not finished, it's okay. I won't rub any of this off, so if you want to catch up, you can. Okay, pens down, pens down. Full attention, because I'm almost ready to get you going. There's our solution. And you can see all my working there. I have forgotten to say the reason for the first line, so I'm just going to add that now. Now, I just want to draw your attention to my diagram. And if you drew the diagram like I asked you before, I know it's a bit rough, but it's still good enough to be able to demonstrate this. I want you to look at the similarities and differences between this diagram and this one over here that we started with, just nice and it leads inside one quadrant and there were no negatives. Okay. For starters, can someone shout out to me? What's some similar things you see between diagram one and diagram two? Any takers? Right. Say that again, Larry. Right okay, for starters, right angle triangle, right? So you know, it's like, oh, Pythagoras, why are we making such a big deal about this? The reason why is even when there are no right angle triangles to begin with, you can make right angle triangles almost anywhere, okay? So you see that. What else do you see that's in common? Hmm. What's the, um, what's the vertical length of the triangle, for the height, I should say? What's the height of the triangle? Eight. It's eight, right? Do you notice how, and if you haven't written this down, you should, how did I find out that it was eight? Now, I did it in exactly the same way I did this being four. You've got the top one, you take away the bottom one. Do you agree? Do you know what I've done? I've got the top one, that's up at three, and I've taken away the bottom one, but look, the bottom one is negative. Do you notice that? So that's why three take away negative five, that gives you the full eight. Does that make sense? And it's the same deal here, okay? Now, are you feeling, this is a bit of a drag, right? Every single time to have to go through this process, draw the triangle, invoke Pythagoras theorem, etc. That's why we say, if we want to get to this, I don't like to call it a formula, I like to call it a shortcut, that's what it is. You deserve that, leave it there. It's fine, Mr. Leave it. As an arrow out of here, I'd like you to write down distance equals, okay, for starters, there's a big square root sign over the top. Where does the square root come from? Why does the distance formula have a square root in it? Because Pythagoras has squares in it and you want to undo part of it. Now, you don't want C squared, you just want C. Does that make sense? So that's why there's a big long square root sign. Underneath here, there are two things, two squares being added. Why are there two squares being added? Because in Pythagoras' theorem, right, that's how the first line begins. That's how the, the structure is there. It's from Pythagoras, not just by accident. Right? And then inside, the things being squared, I'm going to write it like this. I'd love you to follow. Right? x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1. Why are there things being subtracted in there? What's going on? Why, for instance, why is it not x2 plus x1? Why is it x2 minus x1? Because you find it as short as other than Yeah, no, I, I'm trying to find, like, what does this thing represent? The shorter side. This one represents this shorter side. 
over here, right? And this one represents that shorter side, right? You've got to take the difference between them. You see how that's a difference? And that's a difference? If I asked you what was that length and you said 5 plus 1, that wouldn't make sense, right? You're subtracting, you're getting the difference. This is how you remember where the pluses and minuses are. The plus is in there because Pythagoras adds sides being squared. And the minuses are in here because you're trying to find the distance between those. Okay? 